What Was That Like? contains adult language and content and is not intended for all audiences. Listener discretion is advised. If this is your first time listening to this podcast, you need to know this is not a typical episode. Usually, each episode is a conversation with someone who's been through some type of extremely unusual situation, and that person comes on the show and tells what happened firsthand. Not this week. This is June of 2020, and right now our country is in turmoil because a black man in Minneapolis died at the hands of the police. The video of that happening in broad daylight has, again, shown that racism in America is still very much alive. So I have to do something here on this podcast for this episode. Some people run for office to get elected and try to bring change from the inside. Some people hold signs and protest. Some go through the police academy and become skilled police officers. I know that because they're my close family members. Some people riot in the streets. I'm not here to comment on any of those things. For me, what I have is this podcast. It reaches a lot of people. So this is how I'm using it for this particular episode. When something like this happens, you see it on your TV or your computer or your phone, and you read the story, but those are just words on the screen. There's distance between you and and what happened. With this episode, I want to put you at the scene. I'm going to present you with three true stories today. In each one of these stories, a person of color died at the hands of the police. What puts us at the scene is the phone call that was made when it happened. My hope today is that what you hear makes it more real. These are not just names in the newspaper or on the evening news. These are people, and what happened to them needs to be known. We need to be aware of this reality, and we need to find a solution to this problem, because what we've been doing so far isn't working. I'm Scott Johnson, and you're listening to What Was That Like? Tatiana Jefferson was a 28-year-old black woman who lived in Fort Worth, Texas. She was a pre-med graduate and lived at home taking care of her mother and her 8-year-old nephew. On the morning of October 12, 2019, her neighbor, James Smith, noticed that the front door to Tatiana's house was open. He saw this at 2.30 a.m., what he didn't know was that Atatiana and her nephew were up late playing video games. So being a good neighbor, he was concerned. He made a phone call to the non-emergency number of the Fort Worth police and asked them to do a welfare check just to make sure everything was okay. Fort Worth police operator M873, what's the address? Uh, I'm calling about my neighbor. Okay, what's the address? Manage? Okay. What's going on there? Well, the front doors have been open since 10 o'clock. I haven't seen anybody moving around. It's not normal for them to have both, both of the doors open this time of night. Okay. You know if anyone is inside? No, I'm not sure. Both of the cars are there. And they're in the driveway? Oh, both the cars in the driveway, yes. Okay, can you give me a description, like a color of the vehicle? Well, one's white and one's dark blue. The white one is a sedan or a CV? Or pick up? Uh, they're both, they're both, they're both uh, sedans. Okay. And what's your name? James Smith. 
Yeah, what's your telephone number? Hey, one seven. Gotcha. And um, um, are they usually home at this time? Uh, they're usually home, but they never had both of the front doors open okay. with the lights on. Like I can see straight through the house. When my sister woke me up, she stays across the street, and then I live on the opposite side of my sister. Okay. And the address that you gave me, that's their address, correct? Yes. Okay. Well, I'll have an officer come by. They're already being dispatched now, okay? Okay, I appreciate it. I mean, it's just not normal for them to have both the doors open this late that long. Gotcha. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Bye-bye. Within a few minutes, Officer Aaron Dean and another officer arrived at the residence. They walked around the side of the house, and Officer Dean walked into the backyard. According to the nephew, while they were playing video games, they heard some noise from outside the window. Atatiana got her legally owned handgun from her purse and went to the window. Officer Dean saw her and yelled for her to put her hands up, then fired a single shot through the window. Atatiana Jefferson was pronounced dead at the scene at 3.05 a.m. Officer Aaron Dean, a white man, resigned from the department two days later to avoid being fired. He did not cooperate with investigators, and on December 20, 2019, he was indicted by a grand jury on a charge of murder. He's currently awaiting trial. Botham Jean was a 26-year-old black man who lived in Dallas, Texas. He was an accountant. On the evening of September 6, 2018, he was at home in his fourth floor apartment eating a bowl of ice cream. The door to his apartment was unlocked. Dallas police officer Amber Geiger lived in the same apartment building and her apartment was directly below Mr. Jean's apartment on the third floor. At 10 p.m., after ending her 13-hour shift, she mistakenly entered his apartment thinking it was her own. She saw Mr. Jean, thought he was a burglar, and shot him in the chest. That's when she realized her mistake and made this phone call. Jonathan and one, this is Carla, where's your emergency? Hi, Hi this is an um, off-duty officer. Um, can I get, I need emails. Um, uh, I'm in number. Um, what's your address? The, Do you need police okay. as well or just EMS? Yes, I need both. Okay, what's the address? I'm at apartment number. And what's yes. the address there? Um, it's. What's I missed, going on? I missed, I'm an off-duty officer. I thought it was in my apartment, and I shot a guy thinking that he was thinking it was my apartment. He shot was, someone. Yes, I thought it was my apartment. I'm fucked. Oh my God, I'm sorry. Okay, and the, where where are you at right now? I'm in. Uh, what do you mean? I'm inside the apartment with him. Hey, come on. What's here. your name? I'm Amber Geiger. I need to get me. I'm. I'm in. Okay, we have help on the way. I know, but Hold I'm. On. I'm gonna lose my job. I thought it was my apartment. Okay, and hey, man. Hold on. Fuck. Okay, stay with me, okay? I am. I am. I need. I need my need supervisor. Hey, bud. Hey, bud. Hey, bud. Come on. Oh, fuck. I. I thought it was my apartment. I understand. No, we we have help on the way. I thought it was my apartment. Lamar. <laughs> Hurry, please. They're on their way. I need. I, I thought it was my apartment. I thought it was my apartment. I could have sworn I parked on the third floor. Okay, I understand. No. I thought it was my apartment. I thought it was my apartment. I thought it was my apartment. 
I thought it was my apartment. And the, what's the gate code there? I don't know. I don't know. You don't know? Okay. I need them. I thought it was my apartment. They're trying to get in there. There, We have an officer there. You don't know the gate code? No. I thought it was my apartment. I thought it was my apartment. Okay, and what, what floor are you in right now? The fourth floor. Fourth. Hey, bud. Hey, bud. They're coming, there, bud. I'm sorry, man. Okay, where was he? Where was he shot? He's on the top, top left. Okay, you're with Dallas PD, right? Yes. Oh my God, I'm done. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. I'm so sorry. Hey, bud. They're trying to get there to you, okay? I know. I, stay with me, bud. Holy fuck. Okay, they're almost there. They're already there. They're trying to get to you. Holy fuck. I thought it was my apartment. I thought it was my apartment. Holy fuck. I thought it was my apartment. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh my god. Okay, they're trying to get there to you. Do you hear them? Do you see them? No. No. I I how the fuck did I get out of there? How did I do this for? Okay, go ahead and talk to her. No, it's me. It's, I'm off duty. I'm off duty. I thought I thought they were in my apartment. I thought this was my floor. Botham Jean was transported to a nearby hospital where he died. Geiger was arrested three days later and charged with manslaughter. That charge was later changed to murder. Her trial took place a year after the killing, and the jurors spent six hours deliberating the evidence. They found her guilty of murder. The next day, Geiger was sentenced to 10 years in prison. Her legal team is appealing for a new trial. Brianna Taylor was a 26-year-old black woman who lived in Louisville, Kentucky. She was an emergency room technician with career plans to become a nurse. In March of this year, a judge issued a search warrant for a house that was not close to Brianna's house, but also included with this was a warrant to search her house because police believed a man had used her residence to receive some drugs. The warrant issued was a so-called no-knock warrant, which means that police are allowed to enter without warning and without identifying themselves as police officers. Just after midnight on March 13, 2020, Brianna and her boyfriend, Kenneth Walker, were home and in bed. The Louisville police used a battering ram to bust down the door and enter the apartment. Kenneth not knowing it was the police and thinking it was a criminal home invasion, fired his handgun in defense, wounding one of the officers. Three police officers returned fire, and Brianna Taylor was shot at least eight times. Then Kenneth made this phone call to 911. 911, Operator Harris, where is your emergency? I don't, I don't know what's happening. Somebody kicked in the door inside my girlfriend. Okay, where are you located? Oh, man. Oh, my God. Okay, how old is your girlfriend? She's, she's 26. Bring it. Oh, my you said 26? God. Where was she shot at? I don't know. She's on the grill right now. I don't know. I don't know. 
Okay. You said she's 26. Is she alert and able to talk to you? Uh, no, she's not. Breathe. Okay. And you said you're in apartment number four. Help! Oh, my God. Yes, help. What's help. your name, sir? Oh, my name is Kenneth Walker. You said Kenneth. Help! And you said she's 26? Yes. Okay. You said... Yes. Okay. Can you check and see where she's been shot at? I can't get on her stomach. No, okay. Oh is is she alert God. and able to talk to you? No, breathe. Okay. I'm breathing. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh my God. Can can you get her turned over on her back? I need I you to check her and see where she shot at. Oh my God. Oh my God. I gotta go. Okay. I gotta go. I gotta go. Kenneth. <laughs> Kenneth, can you hear me? Brianna was pronounced dead at the scene. The police were not wearing any body cameras to document what happened. No drugs were found in the apartment. Initially, Kenneth Walker was charged with first-degree assault and attempted murder of a police officer. Those charges were later dropped. The Louisville Police Department has revised its policy to now require body cameras to be worn by all sworn officers and has changed how it carries out search warrants. The family of Brianna Taylor has filed a wrongful death lawsuit. Your feedback about this episode is welcome. You can contact me by email, Twitter, or through the website, whatwasthatlike.com. What Was That Like is produced by me, Scott Johnson. Music for this episode provided by Kevin McLeod of Incompetech. Stay safe, and I'll see you again in two weeks.